Welcome to Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm Josh Cohen. I'm Carter Burquest. Today we are talking about the bright spot in Minnesota sports right yes, now. Yes, the one team. While the Vikings disappointed us and the Timberwolves are disappointed us, the Wild have gone streaking, yes. broke the franchise record for most wins in a row. Let's talk about the Minnesota Wild. How good is this team? Are they legitimate Stanley Cup contenders or is it too early to start I, saying that? I don't know how you can't say they're not. That being said, um, I think we do say that every year around this time of year. Um, you know, talk to me in through January and we'll see how this team is still playing. With that being said, the way they are playing now, they're definitely Stanley Cup contenders. Dubnik is on another level, um, yeah. leading leave and save percentage goals against and shutouts, which is uh, unreal. Um, he's playing at a level that you, you don't see goalies play at much often. We're, you know, averaging over three goals a game. Uh, we have the second highest goal differential in the NHL. You know, I think we got to be Stanley Cup contenders if we keep defending the way we are, if Dubnik keeps uh, the goaltending pace up. I don't see why we cannot win the Stanley Cup. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with calling us contenders, and I'm okay with... I want to enjoy the ride a little bit in Minnesota sports. I feel like we're always kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, and we're waiting yeah. for them to, to disappoint us with expectations. But they are good, and I'm going to enjoy and have fun. But I am going to, as a Minnesota sports fan, reserve a little bit of expectations to see what happens in the playoffs because this is a team that has shown us they can win in the regular season. Yep. Not to this degree, but they can win in the regular season and then lose in the playoffs. And exactly. so I'll call them contenders. I'm not going to call them favorites. I'm not going to start, um, you know, planning the parade. Peru <laughs> parade. Do I'm not, not going to start planning yet. the parade route yet. yet. But. I'm okay. I'm going to get a little excited. I'm going to be okay with that. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing, too, is Boudreaux. I think all he does is win. Uh, look where he's been in the past in Washington, Anaheim. All they do is win. He's the first coach. In the regular season. It's true. But, you know, he's had the first coach in NHL history to have three 10-game win streaks with three different teams. And he just wins. And he wins divisions. He doesn't just win. Uh, now He wins divisions. And so it's cool to see uh, we're still growing in Boudreaux's system, you know, um, I think the more we play, the more comfortable we're going to get, and I think we can only get better and better. Um, but yeah, I do think we're contenders, and I don't think it's time to plan the parade route quite yet. Um, but I do think you can get a little excited. Um, the expectations have been raised, so to speak. I didn't have the highest expectations going into this season. Yeah. I don't know that you did either. Nope. <laughs> um, but I think the bar has now been raised, um, and we definitely have a higher expectation for this team. All right, once again, let us know what you think. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. See ya.